Welcome to a new lesson, the tangent ratio. Let's take a look at a little bit of the theory for the tangent ratio. The tangent ratio is a division between the opposite sides of a triangle and an adjacent side of a triangle. What are those words meaning? Let's say if we have a triangle, and the triangle is a right angle triangle, that means one of the, the sides is 90 degrees, one of the angles is 90 degrees, and A is the angle, and so is B and C. So here our triangle, and we're interested in, in our angle, A, which is right here again. Now, with respect to angle A, the opposite side is right here. This is called the opposite side. That the angle A is looking at, right across from it. The side that, right here, that the angle is next to, is called the adjacent side. Adjacent side. While always, the longest side in the triangle is referred to as hypotenuse. Da, 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 da. And the, tr the tangent ratio is a division between the length of the opposite side, which is right here, and the length of the adjacent side. Let's use this information to answer a couple examples. Determine the tangent ratio for different angles. So here's our question. Determine tan D and tan F. So what is interesting in this is that we have to always use the letter or the angle with that has reference to. What do I mean by that? So in the first one we have D as our reference angle. So here's our D. And recall that tan of any angle, in this case D, has to be opposite length of the triangle divided by the adjacent side of the triangle. Meaning that, again, D is right across from 3. That's the opposite side. So that is 3. Divided by the adjacent side, which is right next to the, the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse, which this is the, hypo, the hypotenuse, because it's the longest side. So therefore, our tan D is 3 over 4. What about our tan F? Again, it's opposite over adjacent. It's a good a practice to write this down so it becomes a part of your memory. But now our reference angle is not D like before, it's actually F. So with respect to F, now the opposite side is 4, so it's actually 4, and the adjacent side is 3. So tan of F, that's how we say it, tan of F, or tan F, is equivalent to 4 thirds. Let's take a look at a different example. Let's find the measure of angle G and angle J to the nearest tenth of a degree. This, this interesting, well, not interesting, but uh, this sign right there is referred to as an angle. Angle G in this case and angle J. I'm going to use the trig, pardon me, the tangent ratio, which is also trigonometry, um, to find these angles. So again, let's write what we know. Tan of G is equivalent to, again, because it's tan opposite, and I'm going to use just shortcuts now, opposite over adjacent. A little shorthand there. So what are, what's the opposite side of G? Well, here is angle G, and it's looking at, or it's opposite to 4, which is the opposite side while it's next to 5 and this missing part and we know that this I'm going to use a different color 
G again, uh, that this is the hypotenuse side because the 90 degrees is looking at it. So we're going to, that's not of our concern at this moment. The adjacent side, therefore, is the other side that's touching G, and it's 5. So tan of G is 4 over 5. And I'm just going to recopy this right here, tan of G is equal to 4 over 5. This doesn't tell us the angle. It's not even angles at all. It's just a ratio. What we need to find is the angle, and the tan of G will be used to find our angle. Here's how we solve for the angle. We are going to take the inverse of tan on your calculator, and it's uh, the inverse of tan is we're referring to this um, negative one exponent. So on your calculator, what you have to press is second and the tan button. You notice on top, whether it's going to be blue or green, my calculator has yellow. Um, and the second button is also in yellow. So whenever you press the second button, you get the access to the, uh, the same color of functions, as you can see. And then we are going to be uh, we're actually going to get a specific value of 38.7 degrees. Um, some of you may not get this, and you might get this weird value. Uh, that's because you need to set up your calculator to what's called a degree mode, or DEG mode. Um, your calculator may be set up in what's called RAD mode, or radiant mode. In order to make sure that this is set up, what you need to do is you need to press you need to press the mode button. And in mode button you get a specific window. So scroll down by pressing the down button. And uh, once you get to that line, move to the right and bold or press enter on the degree mode to activate it. When you reset your calculator you will always have the radiant mode. So you have to be careful. So every time make sure you're in degree mode when you're doing these calculations. Okay, that was long enough. Um, the next thing we have to do is find of course the angle of J. So I'm going to erase all this stuff from the uh, J. I'm going to just keep the hypotenuse because that never changes. And again, we're going to um, restart this question. Clean all this. Okay, here you go. So again, angle or tan of J is equal to, again, that doesn't change, opposite over adjacent. Um, the equation doesn't change, but now our reference angle of J does change. Here's a J. Now the opposite side is considered 5. That's the opposite side. While the adjacent side is the remaining side right next to it, which is 4 adjacent. Again, we're going to plug this in your calculator. Actually, first in the, right here on your sheet of paper, um, which is 5 over 4. Now it's changed. And now so tan j is 5 over 4, and therefore j, when we're looking for angles, we have to take the inverse, or negative 1 power tan, 5 over 4. Don't forget, on your calculator, press second, and I'm going to use yellow, because my calculator has yellow second, and then you have to press tan button, because of that tan inverse. And our answer is 51.3 degrees. Again, make sure that you are in degree mode by pressing the mode button and moving and pressing enter to get the degree mode. Now let's take a look at a different question. The latitude of Fort Smith, Northwest Territory, is approximately 60 degrees. Determine whether this design for solar panel is the best for Fort Smith. Justify your answer. Well, let's first of all talk about what is um, 
latitude of 60 degrees. In this case, latitude 60 degrees is referring to the slant of the roof. Basically, the question is asking, um, this, th th has this person um, erected the solar panel and created six, 60 degrees angle? If it has, therefore, the solar panel will get as much of sun as possible. If the person did not, then uh, less sun will be absorbed by the solar panel and it will be less efficient. So what simply we have to do in this case is find this missing angle. So let's draw our triangle. We know that one side is 12 feet, we know it's a right angle triangle, and we know that the other side is also, well, it's 9 foot feet. And we're looking for this missing angle. And for good intents and purposes, let's just label this triangle A, B, and C. So we, the only thing we know about uh, trigonometry is the tan ratio. We know that tan of A has to be always opposite of the adjacent. And this is our reference angle, so what we need to find out that, oh, wait a second, 9 is opposite. So we know that tan of um, A, that uh, it's 9, it's opposite, and the 12 is considered the adjacent side. That's the most difficult part about this uh, lesson. So now we're looking for this A angle, and we, like in previous question, we are going to take the inverse of 10, 9 over 12, and we'll get the angle of 37. And look, it does not match our angle 60. Therefore, our panel will be not very efficient. Let's take a look at one more question. A 10 feet ladder leans against the side of a building with its base 4 feet from the wall. What angle to the nearest degree does the ladder make with the ground? So let's draw a picture of our ladder. And our ladder is in green. Let's say this is our ladder. It's not a very pretty ladder, but you get the idea. We know that the length of the ladder is 10 feet. And we know that it makes a right angle triangle of the wall, which is usually at 90 degrees. And the base of the ladder is 4 feet from the wall. So this is 4 feet. And we're trying to find the angle right here um, that the ladder makes with the ground. So normally what we would do is we would label the triangle A, B, C. You could use any letters you wish. So tan of A would be opposite over adjacent. The problem with this question is that when we try to find the opposite side, which is this side right here, it is missing, and we do not know what it is. But there's one more equation that you've learned previously. It is the Pythagoras equation, and we can use it to find this missing side. And the Pythagoras, um, the Pythagoras equation says this. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And the C squared is actually 10 squared, because that's the longest side, or hypotenuse. And A doesn't really matter, but uh, whether A is 4 or B is 4, it doesn't matter. And B plus B squared. Now that's 100. It's equal to 16 plus B squared. We subtract both sides by 16. And on the left-hand side, we get 84. Equals B squared. We do have to take the square root of both sides to find the value of B. And our missing, which is the opposite side, equal to 9.6 or actually 1.7. So now we found 
of course feet. Now we found that this side is actually now point one seven feet. Now we can use the trig or the tangent identity or the ratio to find our value, to find our angle. So we know that tan of A, the opposite side is the side that we just solved for, right? is 9.17 over the adjacent side, in this case it is 4. So we're going to continue on the operation right here. And uh, to solve for A, we have to take the inverse of tan, so whenever we find any angle, we're going to take the inverse, inverse of tan, which is uh, 9 of 9.17 over 4. Therefore, when you punch this in your calculator, you'll get an angle of 66 degrees. So therefore, the ladder makes a 66 degree angle with the ground. So the ladder makes a 66 degree um, angle with the ground.